wonderful friends. Meg is with you on a beautiful day in Osh. And today we're going to be reading out of the Avesta. And I have quite a treat for you today. I'm going to share with you a conversation that Zarathustra had with Ahura Mazda. And Zarathustra asked Ahura Mazda, what is the most powerful spell for removing the lie, the druze, what we call the matrix, our dark system, for helping the mind in the entire corporal world for purifying the soul. So it's purifying that uh, corporal mind. Uh, like we each have an individual mind, don't we? We can bring salvation to ourselves. We can live in Asha, heaven on earth, by getting our spiritual alignment right. Uh, but there's also a collective consciousness. And this is a way for bringing that collective consciousness to the higher ideas of Asha. It says the prophet Zarathustra asked the creator, O most beneficent spirit, righteous creator Ahura Mazda, which part of the holy spell is most courageous, victorious, glorious, the health giving, the best for removing the wicked men and the evil spirits? Which part of the holy spell is most reaching, helping the mind? purifying the soul in the entire corporal world. And then the creator, Ahura Mazda, replied, the names of us. Let me tell you, before we read those names, uh, what Ahura Mazda says of them. It says, Zarathustra, whoever in this corporal world, having remembered these names of mine, doth recite aloud every day or every night, the cruel-minded druge shall not harm neither hooks or piercing weapons nor slings, neither arrows nor swords, neither clubs nor stones will strike and harm. Just as a thousand men keep watch over one man. <clears throat> so I, and that's a beautiful visualization. When you recite these names, understanding what these names mean, and I'm going to tell you that before I give you the names, it's just as a thousand men surrounding and keeping watch and protecting one man. In the same way, these names of the Creator serve as protection for the reciter against the invisible druge, against the wicked, against the sinful person bent on destruction, and against the wicked fiend full of plagues, Angra Manu, the evil spirit. My friends, when you recite these names, meaning it's more than just saying them, it's understanding them, it's being them, it's vibrating them. My friends, the plagues of anger man you cannot come on you. Evil men cannot harm you. And so I'm going to read you these names and I want you to think about it. a good example is think of, I like to use this one a lot, you know, if God is light, and you are one with God, you are light. If he is light, he is the light giver. If he is divine health, he is the healer. And so my friends, as you think of that, realize also, how does that healing come? Because you merge your energy, you align with that energy. God is health. God cannot get sick. Then you see yourself as one with God. I am divine health. Sickness and disease dies when it touches me. I am light. Darkness cannot enter. And you hold these high vibrations. And my friends, that's where magic comes from. It's quite simple. Okay, I'm going to read you the names. Zarathustra says to Ahura Mazda, tell me indeed that name of thine. And then Ahura Mazda replied, my first name is I exist. My second name is of protecting. My third name is the all pervading. My fourth name, supreme righteousness. My fifth name, all good things. I like that. Containing the seed of righteousness. My sixth name is that I myself am wisdom. My seventh name, endowed with wisdom. My eighth, I myself am knowledge. My ninth, name endowed with knowledge. My tenth name is I myself am increase. My eleventh name, I am the increaser. My twelfth name, Ahura, the bestower of life. My thirteenth name, the most 
beneficent. My 14th name without opponent. Oh, I like that. My 14th name without opponent. My friends, it reminds me of Asha 16. We have no enemies when we're living in Asha. When we are life, there is no enemy of death. When we are health, there's no enemy of sickness and disease. My 15th name is the invincible. Ooh, that's good. My 16th name, the one who maintains account of the deeds of men. My 17th name, the all seen. My 18th name, the healer. My 19th name, I am the creator. 20th, omniscient. My friend, spirit knows all things. You can know and see all things by aligning yourself with that Holy Spirit of God. It says to meditate by day and night and Mazda will come for your help and joy. He who is good and holy, Seoshant, will come for thy help. That's, that's the Christ mind, Vohumenu, the Savior, Jesus the waters and the plants and the fravashis of righteous people will come for thy help and joy. My friends, the souls of fravashis of the Magi, past, present, and future, will come to your aid. If thou wishest to destroy and remove the evil of the evil spirit and evil men, of the tyrants, of the biped serpents, men having serpent nature, of the wolves and the armies, and their weapons, thou should recite aloud these names every night. Every night, my friends, think of the names of God, the attributes of God, and then see yourself in alignment with those. See yourself as those. See yourself as a being of light that no darkness or evil can enter. Visualize that, vibrate that, feel what that feels like. What does it feel like to be powerful and free and divine life? and divine health. What is your future gonna look like? See it, envision it, and create it. The creator, Hura Mazda said, I am the protector, I am the creator, I am the nourisher, the discerner, I am the beneficent spirit, I am the healer, I am the best healer, I am the giver of life, omniscient, righteous, most righteous, I am the glory by name. I am the most glorious. I am the all seen, omniscient. I am all light. I am full of light. I am one possessing light by name. Oh my God, you start to get chills when you start to understand what this word means. I am sovereign by name. I am having a piercing look, such as are these names of Mine, my God, my God, powerful stuff. Let me pray over you. Hashem vohu vashestem esti ushta esti ushta amai yatashai vastai Hashem. Come, Asha, fill us with your presence and with your power, and let us bring Asha to the carnal mind. My friends, I love you. We'll see you soon.